Hello friends, today we will talk about BMI. BMI means body mass index. It's calculated by keeping your weight as a numerator and your height as denominator. What is the formula for it? Formula is you take your weight in kilograms at the numerator and then divide it by your height in meters and the two are square of it. You can easily calculate this by installing an app in your phone. Just enter your height and weight and it will give you your BMI value. Thanks for that. So why do you use it? BMI is the most commonly used factor to assess your obesity or your overweight. So since it's very easy to calculate and gives a rough picture of your ideal weight as well as your actual weight. So it's the most commonly used criteria worldwide to assess obesity. For Asians as well as for Indians, the normal range varies from 17.5 to 22.5. And if you are more than 22.5, up to 27.5, it's in the overweight category. Okay, so what's obesity? Obesity starts from BMI 27.5. So if your BMI is more than 27.5 and up to 32.5, it's classified as obesity grade 1. And as the obesity or your weight keeps on increasing, the amount of fat in your body keeps on growing and the grade of obesity also keeps on growing. Once a person reaches BMI of 50, they're classified as super obese. Populations. Are there any caveats? Yeah, BMI is not always a true reflection of your fat. Suppose this person is very muscular, a bodybuilder, he may have more muscle mass and that may lead to a higher weight as compared to his height. So it may give a higher reading of BMI, not being that effective as a measure of obesity. So BMI must be balanced against the type of body habitus. And if you want to get more clarity on what all components your body has, then you should go for a body composition analysis. So what's that? Body composition analysis will give you a detailed idea about which part of your body has how much fat, protein, and then rest of the structure. So now I understand BMI. Thank you. Thank you.